Welcome back to Circuito Internazionale Napoli. We've had two finals here this afternoon for the direct drive 125cc OK categories. And in just a moment, we step it up a gear quite literally. The KZ2 road racing rocket ships, the carts that do touch 100 miles an hour down the back straight. That's 161 exactly kilometers an hour. The old magic 100 mile an hour mark for our friends in America and England. For the rest of us, well over 160 k's an hour. It's super quick. And we are about to be entertained by some of the finest racing drivers in the world. 33 starters for this final for KZ2. Just bringing you up to date with a little bit of news. Bas Lemmers, who missed the podium at La Conca, the third round of the series, by just 0.024 of a second, sensationally left the circuit on Wednesday night as you look at the pole sitter. One, two, three, Alex Hidalando parting ways with the new Lion Cart Racing Team after just three races. Some promising form shown, but they did have too many disagreements, unfortunately. We hope to see the 2012 World Cup champion back in action very, very soon. Also, the Lion Cart Racing Team from Serbia. We wish them well and hope to see them back on track shortly as well. The front row of the grid for the final. As the five-minute board goes up, to the left of your screen is Alex Irlando in the Soddy cart. He's surrounded by two world champions, including Marco Ardigol. He does lead the series quite comfortably coming into this. Remember, this has been a sensational comeback for Ardigol. He spent much of 2017 on the sidelines injured. However, he came back to win the penultimate round of the series seven days ago, and he's looking good for the title. That was a glimpse of the reigning European, the reigning world champion, Paolo De Conto. Between De Conto and Ardigol, there are five world championships on the grid between the two Italians. That is 137. It's a green card. It's Formula K. It's Jeremy the Jet Iglesias, who launches off the line like a top fuel dragster. Watch the Frenchman from the second row of the grid. He makes awesome starts. Can he hold on to it? Can he mount the podium later this afternoon? Matteo Vigano had a perfect run up until the three final. He qualified fastest on Friday night, scorching around this circuit in a 56.273 lap time. He won three heats from three starts. Didn't have the best run in the pre-final. Starts out of grid number five alongside Patrick Hayek, who won this round of the series, this very race, 12 months ago here at Sarno 2017. Patrick sits fifth in the series. Marco really just does need a good result to take out yet another WSK title. The three-minute board goes up. 33 world-class drivers. That is Francesco Iacovacci. Dalla Città Eterna di Roma from the eternal city of Rome. He is the WSK Final Cup champion, winning that title in Adria last year. He's driving the LKE-powered Luxor car. Starts out of grid number seven alongside the reigning vice world champion. That is Anthony Abbas, two-time winner of the Scusa Super Nationals in Las Vegas. Five times Anthony has won the Le Mans 24-hour kart race. Racing in front of the Sodi kart boss, Emmanuel Merrien, ici en piste aujourd'hui. As you look at the Finn Simon Puhaka, with his Mechanzo, uh, mechanic, Lorenzo Arbol, the very experienced Tony Kart engineer, has been with the green team for a long time. Alessandro Giardelli is alongside the Finn. Just a few moments away from the start. This is a 17 lap final. Ardigo does lead the series from the pole sitter, Irlando and De Conto, who did miss. The last round of the series held over the Easter weekend. Sits third in the series. Increasing points for this final round. It will be sensational. 33 KZ2 carts 
each pushing out near on 50 horsepower. That is Tom Laway, 1-1-0. For the team of Paul Bizalion, CPB Sport, Tom starts alongside Daniel Vasile from Romania on the sixth row of the grid. The field head up. The back straight for the first time. We expect there to be two formation laps for the field. Alex Hernando, not a real quick pace. He dictates it. The French manufacturer, Sodicart, can he take the fight to the Italian teams here this afternoon? This is the grid. Irlando and Artigo, De Conto Iglesias, Vigano, the fastest qualifier on Friday night. Alongside Patrick Hayek, Jakobacci, Abbas, Simo Puhaka, and Alessandro Giardelli starts out of 10. Then we have the Romanian, Daniel Vasile, alongside Tom Luay. Renaud Dan Complacy in the Marinello cart. Emil Scaras, Max Paul, Benjamin Tornquist, Jean Noblo, Pierre Lubert, and the driver from Gothenburg in Sweden. That is Alexander Dahlberg. Oliver, Oliver Rasmussen, Chiromolo from right here in Naples. Marco Valenti, Alessio Piccini, Axel Bankston. Look at the Swedes. Isaac Schockfist, Paul Evrard, Andreas Johansson, Ricardo Longhi. Back on grid number 29. Francesco Cialenta didn't finish the pre-final and has to start out of grid number 30. Ippolito out of 31. The Norwegian driver, Paul Vahag out of 32, and the Dutchman, Dylan Davies, on the final row of the grid. Just mentioned Chalenta, he didn't finish the pre-final. Has to start way back on the grid, but he was fastest in the warm-up this morning. We'll keep one eye on the 136 TM-powered Praga cart from grid number 30, has got speed has the driver from right here in Naples. As Irlando starts to build up the pace. He will dictate it, the pole sitter, down through betitaly.it. The hairpin for the second of these formation laps. The KZ2 final, the final race, the final round, the WSK Supermaster Series here at the 24-year-old Circuito Internazionale Napoli. The sun is out and shining. It's a beautiful afternoon, 27 degrees Celsius. That means it's 31 degrees more than it was at Lanato in the snow just a few weeks ago. Yes, we've all become meteorologists. We've all become weather experts since the Lanato event was cancelled by the beast from the east, the Siberian snowstorm that swept across all of Europe. A beautiful afternoon and we are ready for this 17 lap, 25 kilometer final here this afternoon. Irlando, ready to go to the left of your screen on pole position. Three road racing rocket ships about to launch into life. The Italians on the front row. Irlando, too much wheel spin off the line. He's back to second. Ardigo, the three time world champion from the outside of the front row of the grid, leads them down into turn number one. For the first time all weekend, Iglesias did not get the start. Chalenta looks like he's out in the grass. Also an issue for one of the DR carts. Either the German Max Paul or the Romanian Daniel Vasile will pick that up for you in just a moment. We go back to the front. The world champions run one and two. What a sight here at Sarno. Marco Ardgo, the race leader from Paolo de Conto, the reigning world champion, Irlando. Their countryman, but for the French manufacturer, Soddy, is back in position number three. Out of the goal, we'll lead them across the line. A great start by Patrick Hayek in the Cosmic Cart. He's up to position number four. De Conto in second, Irlando 
Hayek, Abbas, Jeremy back to six in the Formula K cart. They go defensive down into turn number two. The Bridgestone tyres up to temperature on the bitumen that is approaching 40 degrees Celsius according to Rosario Squieri of Bridgestone Motorsport here at the circuit. The Tony Kart leads the CRG, the world champions, run one and two. Artigo is the series leader, needs a good result, even a mediocre result to be honest, would assure him of another WSK title. Here this afternoon, De Conto, who won at La Conca, wants to take the win, did not show his card throughout the heats. But wow, he's got some speed this afternoon. There are five world championships split among the drivers who are running one and two here this afternoon. Artigo leads to Conto. Irlando, the pole sitter, back to third. Then it's Hayek, Abbas, watch to Conto. Artigo knows he's there. Unflinchable is Marco. Pablo's not stupid either. The reigning world champion knows exactly when to make his move, but he'll need to do it soon because Orlando is now back up to speed after losing time off the start. Iglesias back into position number five. Can the Frenchman mix it among the Italians who run one, two, and three? The driver from the Czech Republic, Patrick Hayek, he's in position number four. Then it's Jeremy, Matteo Vigano, the fastest qualifier on Friday night, remember. Vasile, Puhaka, and Jakobacci rounds out the top 10. That incident on the very first lap involving Marco Valenti and Benjamin Tornquist, in fact. Maximilian Paul. The Germans up into position number 13 behind Tom Louay as Irlando goes down the inside, goes half defensive, loses a bit of time side by side. Goes Abbas and Vigano further back in the field. Daniel Vasile, the driver from Pitesh in Romania for the DR car team. He's the one powered by the Moderna engine. He won the Champions Cup back at Adria in the end of January. Inside the top 10, wants to fight among the leaders, does the Romanian. Artigo de Canto, Irlando Hayek, Iglesias Abbas, the two French drivers, different teams. Jeremy did have a run with the French manufacturer, Sodicart, as Max Paul goes down the inside of Tom Louay. Nice move by the German on oh, the French driver. Oliver Rasmussen ahead of Alessio Piccini, Andreas Johansson, and Isaac Scottfist, the two Swedes ahead of Paolo Ippolito, who won the Le Mans round of the European Championships in 2017. It's now turning into a four-car freight train Iglesias just starting to lose a little bit of ground to the cosmic in front of him of Patrick Hayek. Ardigo withstanding the pressure. This is classic Marco Ardigo. If they are going to get past the three-time world champion, they need to do it early in the race. That's when he's most vulnerable. If he builds up a little bit of rhythm, he may well prove to be unstoppable. The problem for him Right behind him is the reigning European, the reigning world champion, Paolo de Conto. That's the pole sitter. One, two, three for Sonic Art. Alex Orlando on screen runs in P3. Down through turn number one. They already start their sixth lap. 100 miles an hour right there. Down into heartbreaking. Turn two. Down through the gearbox. The vortex on the Tony Kart accelerates out. Ahead of De Conto, Artigo runs wide. There's an opportunity there. De Conto half thought about it. Irlando just watches on. They, those three start to pull away from Patrick Hayek. Iglesias still in fifth spot. Vigano behind him. Then it's the second Soddy cart of the reigning vice world champion, Anthony Abbas. Pull Harker into eight. Jacobacci and Lorenzo Complacy in the Maranello cart from somewhere near the back of the grid. Midfield, at least, is now up inside the top 10. Artigo de Conto. They've just dropped off Ilando a little bit that time round. Up the back straight one more time. Six laps in the books. This is the start of lap number seven. Not yet half race distance. The front four back to Iglesias under pressure from Matteo Vigano from Bergamo in Northern Italy. 
Matteo, you will remember, won the final round of the CIK European Championships in 2016. That was aboard a top card, giving them their first international CIK championship win in many a year. You go back to Colin Brown in 2000 when he won the Formula A World Championships at Braga in Portugal. As the mechanical defect flag comes out, unfortunately, for Paolo Ippolito, the Italian was having a good run here this afternoon inside the top 15, but he will have to pit next time round. The gap starting to pull out a bit between Ardigo and De Conto. In fact, the front three are pulling away half race distance, halfway through this very lap. Alex Irlando for the French manufacturer. All three are Italians, all three for different manufacturers. Saudi Kart, CRG, and Tony Kart for Irlando, De Conto, and Ardigo, respectively. Let's not forget Marco won his third world championship right here at this very circuit in 2014. His first title coming at Marienburg, 2007. That was the first year of KF, KF1 as it was. A year later, he won his second title, the Conca Muro Lecese, in what evolved into Super KF, and his third world championship right here. He took the checker flag right there. And that was four years ago. Now he is back after missing much of it last year through injury. Alexander Dahlberg in the 1 2 1 Viral Art goes through as Ilando and De Conto go wheel to wheel. Oh, Ilando from nowhere down into turn number two made the move, but he did not come off. Look what that has done. Artigol has now put a good 30 metres on his two countrymen. Ardigo will win the championship quite comfortably and he will also win the race if it finishes right there and then. We take a look at the replay. Down the inside goes Ilando from a long way back. He tried to pull it up under brakes. De Conto simply cut back. It's a three second, five second penalty has come out for Daniel Vasile, unfortunately. The Romanian got a great start, but it was too good. He comes across the line in 10th, but it's put him down into 17th spot as Irlando tries again on the reigning world champion. Again, Paolo says no. Patrick Hayek in the Cosmic senses his opportunity to get up on the podium. Again, a replay almost of the replay. Down the inside, had it everything locked up over the ripple strip. The Saudi cut almost smashed sideways into the CRG, but these drivers are so good, they did not make contact. Hayek, one step off the podium. Hayek fourth in the series, but he's some way back though. After competing in only selected rounds of the series, Ardigo would win the title by more than 100 points, and he's looking good to do so with seven laps now remaining. The gap out to 1.5 seconds. That move from Ilando has cost time. He looks behind. Will he try it again? De Conto puts the CRG down the middle of the track here in Naples. Out of the goal, absolutely on the ragged edge. He's the three-time world champion. The reigning European, the reigning world champion in second. He won at Laconca. Missed the last round of the series seven days ago here at Sarno, held over the Easter weekend. Hayek in fourth. Then we go to Vigano, Pulhaka, Abbas, Iglesias back in eighth. Jakovacci was in ninth, but we're looking for the Roman. And it seems as though Francesco may have had a problem last time round. We'll keep an eye on that. De Conto goes through. Ilando will get the benefit of the slipstream. 158, 159 k's an hour normally, but with the slipstream, they top well over 160. Ilando this time gets the job done. De Conto back to position number three. Let's take a look at the replay. He tried it once, he tried it twice. Third time lucky for Alex. He goes through on Paolo. This time, De Conto had to concede. 
and Patrick in the Cosmic Cart senses his opportunity to get up onto the podium. Out of the goal, we said last week when the Tony Car driver came back after nearly a year on the sideline through injury that the King is back and he's looking at a victory here this afternoon. He's looking at yet another WSK Master Series title. He goes through turn number one, the gap now 2.2 seconds with the Italians trading places. Hayek, Vigano, Puhaka, Abbas, they go defensive. Hayek looks back to Puha Puhaka, I'm sorry, first, then it's Anthony Abbas. And further down the order, yes, unfortunately, the driver from Rome, Francesco Iacobacci, after running in a superb position, number nine, has joined the list of retirements, which include the Frenchman, Jean Nombleau, Paul Evrard, Oliver Rasmussen, and the Swede, Benjamin Tornquist. Paul Harker and Vigano. The rest of the field go through. Lot Enzo can place up to position eight. Head of Maximilian Paul, the driver from Dredston. In P9, and Tom Lewey, the Frenchman, rounds out the 10. There's the leader going through, out of the goal, Irlando. Took him three attempts, but he's finally into second spot. Complacy going through. Basile, Maximilian Paul. Alex Irlando almost took the lead off the pre-final earlier this morning. Matteo Vigano, a perfect weekend for the Italian up until this morning in the pre-final. Qualified on pole position on Friday night. Three heat wins, fifth in the pre-final. And that's exactly where the driver from Bergamo in northern Italy, just outside Milan, runs here this afternoon. He will miss the podium as it stands at the moment. Irlando starting to pull away from the reigning world champion. Alex Irlando announced himself on the world karting scene when he became the first ever Italian driver to win the Rotax Max Grand Finals at Portimao in Portugal back in 2015. Third in the European Championships, of course, he won the KZ2 International Super Cup at Buckersdorf in Germany on the very last corner last September in sensational fashion. That was in KZ2. He will race KZ1 later on in the year, including his World Championship. Found a home with the French manufacturer. Not quite sure how Alex's French language skills are these days. Does speak perfect English, though. And it's likely we will hit on him on the podium in just a few laps time. Ardigo on his way to victory. 2.5 seconds now over this battle. Patrick, who won here 12 months ago, will miss the podium unless he can get by the reigning world champion, De Conto. These KZ carts, 125cc engines, turning out nearly 50 horsepower. Bridgestone control tires for the WSK series for 2018. Patrick wants to get on the podium. He slides down the inside and gets past the reigning world champion, Paolo De Conto. De Conto looking to make a move on Ardigo earlier on in the race for the lead, now is not even on the podium. This is where Alex got him a few laps earlier. Patrick from the Czech Republic slides down the inside to run in position number three. The Cosmic Cart displaces the CRG. Paolo back into position four. The last lap board is being displayed for the driver from Brescia for Team Tony Kart. Ardigo comes across the line. Conto wants it back, though. He'll be in the slipstream of Patrick as they go up the back straight for the final time in this 17-lap final. Patrick knows it. Head down behind the steering wheel. Great horsepower from that Vortex engine. That was impressive. Conto in the slipstream couldn't really make inroads on the Cosmic. Vigano still just too far back in position number five. The fight for the bottom step of the podium. Alex Irlando looking good in P2. Up into the Penta Fuel step in for the final time. Ardigo on his way to victory. Irlando in second spot. It looks as though Patrick will hold third place on the podium. 
He missed most of last year through injury. He won last week. What a comeback. The King is back. Marco Ardigo comes across the line to win here in Naples. And with that, he takes the WSK Super Master Series title. Alex is second. Patrick holds on for position number three, holding off the reigning world champion, De Conto, who just misses the podium. Fastest second sector of the entire race on the very last lap for Ardigo. He wins it by 2.5 seconds as the Norwegian driver Paul Verhaag crosses the line in position 24. The last runner will be the 2014 Italian champion Riccardo Longhi, the final finisher. Great start by Daniel Vassilet, but it was too good. He was given a five second penalty, the Romanian. Out of the goal from the outside of the front row of the grid, led into turn number one. He withstood the early pressure and from there went on to win. De Conto briefly in second place, right on the back of the Tony Kart for much of the early stages until Alex said, I've had enough. If you won't pass our countryman Marco, I'll give it my best shot. He tried once, he tried twice, unsuccessfully. And then third time lucky for cart one, two, three. The Italian for the French team down the inside. De Conto finally had to relinquish second place. Back to third, Alex gave it everything he could. And then Patrick says, I'll do exactly what Alex did. The driver from the Czech Republic finishes in a superb P3 in the Cosmic, the driver from the Czech Republic. But Marco Ardigo, what a comeback. If anybody doubted the three-time world champion, they have been silenced here this afternoon. The King is back. He takes out the race and with that, the WSK Supermaster Series title for 2018. Marco Ardigo wins from Alex Orlando, the Italians first and second, and Patrick Hayek from the Czech Republic in the Cosmic Kart finishes in position number three, just ahead of the reigning world champion, Paolo De Conto, who won at La Conca Muro Lecce's world circuit. The third round of the series just misses the podium. Speaking of which, we will bring you the presentations here at Naples in just a few moments. This is the fourth and final, the deciding round of the WSK Supermaster Series for 2018. The KZ2 podium presentations right here at the foot of Vesuvius here in Naples, Southern Italy in just a moment.
Welcome back to Circuito Internazionale Napoli. A beautiful sunny afternoon here at Naples in the podium presentation for KZ2 in just a moment. We wait for the drivers. We will award the trophies third, second and first for the race and also for the series here this afternoon. We await for, once again, the series winner, the race winner, Marco, to join us down here. A beautiful afternoon here at the foot of Vesuvius, just a few miles from La Costa Amalfitana, the Amalfi Coast in southern Italy. The podium presentation for KZ2. One race remaining after this for the Mini, the last race of the series. A beautiful afternoon. We await for the drivers for KZ2. The podium presentation, first of all, for the race. He got past the reigning European, the reigning world champion with just... A handful of laps to go. In third place for Cosmic Racing Department from the Czech Republic, Patrick Hayek. <laughs> Second place, a brilliant race all weekend from Bari in southern Italy for Soddy Kart, Alex Ilando. A year on the sidelines, but if you had any doubts, the King is back. He wins the final round of the series for Team Tony Cut from Italy, Marco Ardigo. <laughs> Mr. Rosario Sorrentino from Circuito Internazionale Napoli to present the trophies. In third place, Patrick Hayek of the Czech Republic. In second place from Italy, Alex Irlando. The race winner here this afternoon for Team Tony Cut from Italy, Marco Ardigo. As we stand by for the national anthem of Italia. Final race, the final round of the series. Third place, Patrick Hayek. Second place, Alex Orlando. And the race winner here this afternoon, Marco Ardigo. We thank Patrick for joining us here for the race podium and congratulate him on his third place here this afternoon. We ask Alex and Marco to stay with us because in just a moment, we will award the trophies for the WSK Supermaster Series itself as well. will award the trophies for the series as well. He virtually had it all sewn up before coming into the final round. He is the reigning world champion. 
And despite missing one round, he won at Lekonka. He does finish third in the series. The reigning world champion, third in the WSK Supermaster Series, Paolo De Conto. A great drive here this afternoon and second in the series from Italy, Alex Irlando. Yet another WSK title. What a comeback. The new WSK Supermaster Series champion from Italy, Marco Ardigo. <laughs> Mr. Rosario Sorrentino from Circuito Internazionale Napoli to present the series trophies in third place, Paolo De Conto. In second place, also from Italy, Alex Irlando. The new champion, what a comeback, Marco Ardigo. Once again, the national anthem for the winning series driver, that of Italy. Italy, one, two, and three in the series. Firstly, a quick word with Paolo De Conto. He won at La Conca, third in the series here this afternoon. Congratulations. The reigning world champion, Paolo De Conto. Yeah, I want to say thanks to all my team, all my staff, uh, for, uh, for my mechanic and everything. We work very well in La Conca. We missed something here in, uh, in Sarno, so we have to work for, uh, for the next race. Thanks. Congratulations, Paolo. Second place, a brilliant weekend, a brilliant series, of course. You won the opening round of the series in Adria for the Saudi Kart team. Congratulations, Alex Irlando. Yeah, thank you very much. I want to say thanks to Saudi Kart and TM Factory. During the championship, we had uh, some up and down, but uh, at the end, we are back in the top. So I think that we can fight for the European champions, but uh, we have to work hard. So thank you very much. Congratulations, Alex. Marco, last year was very difficult for you. We can't imagine what you went through, but what a comeback. Two wins in two weeks and the new WSK Supermaster Series champion. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yes, sure. Is, uh, last year was uh, really difficult for me, <clears throat> but I, I don't want to think again to last year and I want to, to say thank you to my team and uh, I hope uh, to continue in this way. So. I'm really happy in this moment, sure. Grande, grazie. Italians, one, two, and three. Paolo De Conto in third place in the series. Alex Irlando and the new champion for the WSK Supermaster Series in KZ2, Marco Ardigo. Three races this afternoon. The mini final in just a moment, right here at Circuito Internazionale Napoli.